but he did know how to please a crowd and even get the judge to thank him for his time. It was a real pleasure to hear your testimony, the otherwise business like you. S. District Judge Florence J. Pan told the author, after he finished speaking as a government witness in a federal antitrust lawsuit against the merger of Penguin Random House and Simon and & Schuster, King's longtime publisher. The 74-year-old King had a haunting but gregarious presence, his gaunt features accented by his grey suit and grey sneakers, his walk tentative, as it has been since he was struck by a van and badly injured in 1999. The Justice Department is bidding to convince Pan that the proposed combination of Penguin Random House and Simon & Schuster, two of the world's biggest publishers, would thwart competition and damage the careers of some of the most popular authors, a status King holds like few others. King's remarkable career, with so many bestsellers he could only offer an estimate, has come amid waves of consolidation in the industry. As he noted in his remarks, there were dozens of publishers in New York when his breakthrough novel, Carrie, came out in 1974, and he has seen many of them either acquired by larger companies or forced out of business. The publisher of Carrie, Doubleday, is now part of Penguin Random House. So is another former King publisher, Viking Press. Over the first two days, attorneys for the two sides have presented notably contrasting views of the book industry. As government attorney Mel Schwartz walked King through his history starting as a new, unknown author in the 1970s and his relationships with agents and publishers, King homed in on a critique of the industry as it is now. King crisply answered Schwartz's questions, with some moments of humor and brief flashes of gentle outrage, as he testified during the second day of the trial expected to last two to three weeks. I think there are a lot of good publishers all over the country. It's not all about us, Carp said. As an example, he said the nearly 100 year old Simon and Schuster has endured more aggressive competition recently from Amazon's book publishing business. Through two days of testimony, Pan said, there's a sense that competition raises the amounts of advances and less competition lowers them. King's displeasure about the proposed merger led him to voluntarily testify for the government. It would be sort of very gentlemanly and sort of, after you and after you, he said, gesturing with the polite sweep of the arm. But the author of The Stand, The Shining and many others wonders who else might have the chances he did.
King's affinity for smaller publishers is personal. Even while continuing to publish with the Simon & Schuster imprint Scribner, he has written thrillers for the independent hard case crime. Years ago, the publisher asked him to contribute a blurb, but King instead offered to write a novel for them, The Colorado Kid, released in 2005. King himself would likely benefit from the Penguin Random House Simon & Schuster deal, but he has a history of favoring other priorities beyond his material well-being. In America, we should all have to pay our fair share," he wrote for the Daily Beast in 2012.